Hey guys, it's Gummer here with another Warhammer Battle Report. I've just got a couple of housekeeping uh, items. Uh, I've got still battling about a week and a half of coughing and cold, so I'm going to probably be muting myself or pausing this and having a coughing fit in between, so hopefully it doesn't distract you too much. I've basically got a couple of games in at my local club on the weekend, and this is what these are. Uh, they're in my slow grow, or what this one is, and then the other one is just uh, our slow grow army's playing, but wasn't part of the the league, so to speak. Uh, so it's my demons versus a uh, awesomely painted uh, Reichland Empire army. Um, always enjoy playing this guy, so and uh, you know always ends up being pretty close. Uh, so magic, uh, I've got packing three uh, packs of pinkies now at the 1750 level. Um, they got Pink Fire, Infernal Gateway, and Bolt of Change, and then I've got level two of Metal. Uh, I just took Syrian Doom, kill out some knights, and you've got Transmutation of Lead, and then um, my Herald ended up with I think Blue Fire and something else. Oh, what's that Firestorm uh, up there? And he's got a level four of Light, so he's got Shems and Banishment, <laughs> which. Uh, Sucks and also light of battle, which is a great spell for um, you know when I'm everything causes fear. So deployment, and I'll run through the rest of my army when you see it. So he's got um, uh, just standard knights out on the right, uh, cannon on the hill. You can see his hell, uh, hurricane, and he's got a bunch of archers. I think that's ten archers and two units of five. He's got a big block of um, great swords and an arch lector in there, and another block of 10 archers I think with another little five pack of uh, archers another cannon and another set of knights and so I've got my you can see my uh, dogs up or fish hounds ready to come on uh, as ambushes up there and I've got screamers blood blood crushers my herald we're playing um we decided to play infinite hills too for this so that helped um so my herald and skull cannon are hiding behind that and my point sink burning chariot is just sitting out ready to get killed. And then um, that actually already deployed it before I realised we talked about the hills. So maybe I should have hidden that if I'd known better. Got one set of pinkies. These guys actually have the standard discipline. I've got my herald in there. And then screamers, small pink horrors. My five furies that came in this uh, round as well uh, of corn. And then another set of fury. Uh, Pink horrors over on the right. That's the army there. It's starting to come along. Looks not too bad. Um, not totally sure where I'm going to take it for the, the larger games, but uh, we'll see how I go. And just yeah, shot at his. Um, so he gets first turn and moves up a bit, but not massively. Um, obviously, he knows that he's going to have to come get me, and I'm probably going to be a bit more mobile with all my flyers. And first turn, shoots off my, <laughs> jeez, that thing's a waste, that, that burning chariot, it just always seems to get taken out. Uh, so that's gone in turn one, top of turn one. And don't think much else happened, I think I must have, um, I don't know what happened magic was, but you didn't get a whole lot off, I don't think, not that I can remember anyway. So I get into mine. Um, my flies swoop around on either side. Obviously, the on the left here, that I want to try to take out that cannon. Uh, so I've got my skull cannon and my screamers sort of aimed for that. And on the right flank, I've got my other screamers, the furies, uh, to try and take out the cannon in close combat. Um, just trying to remember. Yeah, that's right. I kept the blood crushers back a bit just to. Um, act as a shield for my uh, skull cannon and just staying out of charge range of those knights. I, I want to try and knock them out maybe if I get enough magic dice to get a searing doom on them. Um, you know, geez, the goal here is just basically try to kill everything and stay out of his, uh, except for his uh, great swords. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm thinking. I've got nothing that can take on them. Try and knock out his knights. Uh, cannons and knights and then maybe the hurricane them, and then if the archers are hanging around and I've got enough turns maybe I can try to whittle down the the big block with some spells but you know he's he's going to be on me pretty quick as well so I don't know if I'm going to get that luxury of that and that's just the right yeah you can see where I've moved up and magic was a wash I got bolt of chain uh bolt of 
what's it called? Bolt change? I don't know. Whatever it is, the bolt throw one. <laughs> yeah, that got dispelled. A five dice uh, infernal gateway. I didn't even roll high enough to get it off. So uh, that sucked because I didn't burn his scroll or anything. Uh, the skull cannon did manage to take out that cannon, so I can't complain too bad. Uh, goes in his turn. He's moved up again. Um, not again. He's not not coming up too quick. Or maybe I can't remember. Did he try and charge that? Can't recall. Um, but he did get a shems off. Took out a couple of uh, pink horrors here, and then I threw all my dice to stop uh, banishment. Yeah, his archers actually managed to take out a Screamer, which is crazy as well. Uh, I don't know how that happened. Over on the left, you can't actually see it, but uh, I lost the Screamer there. Uh, and then he shoots at my Skull Cannon in, and goes over the top of the Blood Crushers, and I rolled the Fly Up Ward, <laughs> so uh, I was very happy with that. Uh, so my turn two, I go in with the Screamers into these Knights over on the right. I just figure, I don't think I'm going to win that. Um, well, actually, I thought initially that if I could just punk a wound through, um, you know, if he fails his fear check and stuff, then, you know, I might be able to run him down, not realising his Arch Lecter's right there in his leadership 10, so uh, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> so, But if, in any case, at least I'll hold them up. The uh, other pink horrors over on the right, I just moved around enough to get... Um, they got the bolt of change, and I thought, you know, if, again, if you get enough magic dice, throw a bolt into that uh, hurricane and at least knock it down a bit. Actually, I believe I even did that and knocked two wounds off it. These Furies at the top there, they got a charge off on the cannon and I've pivoted them 90 degrees so they can overrun back into that bunker with his BSB in it at the top of the screen there. Yeah, and I think that's actually shown. I think I did, uh, I put a, yeah, you can see the dice just near the hurricane there. I think I did get a bolt of change off on that guy. Um, the screams have come over to the, sort of start harassing that bunker as well, sort of touched him and did the, uh, uh, what's it called, Lamprey's Bite or whatever, no, not that one, the other one, <laughs> whatever their attack is, but probably only killed an archer, didn't do a whole lot. And yeah, cool, the Furies take out uh, the cannon and overrun into this bunker, so that's cool. Like On the charge, these guys aren't too bad, so I'm hoping... Yeah, do enough damage and I'll route these guys with the BSB in there, so that'd be awesome. Now that he's generals, I think he's generals out of the leadership range, so these guys are only on an eight re-rollable. And yeah, nothing happens here. I think it's just a push. I mean, he, he didn't fail any of his armor saves. Um, so he's turn three. All his archers spin around. <laughs> Gonna take out these screamers, uh, these poor screamers. Um, oh, and this was frustrating. So anyway, so I let Shems off. Uh, now, why was that? I'm trying to remember. What turn are we up to? Three. I let Shems through for something because I five dice dispelled. Um, yeah, actually, that's what it was. I knew he'd probably get um, light a battle up. So I, I let him get Shems. I don't know what he hit. I can't remember what he what he hit something um but he had three dice on light of battle i had five and just because he's level four and i didn't roll very high he uh he still got light of battle off so that sucked and then to make matters worse he had one dice left and managed to get far's protection up as well <laughs> so uh now these guys aren't going anywhere and it's uh my plan is falling apart and of course they don't i took out a couple but then they just reform and now my furies aren't going to last uh, so my turn, uh, like my screamers are alive there, so I think um, all those shots, uh, you just didn't roll that great, and plus, you know, they're skirmishes and stuff. So they fly back over the top. I think they fail to do any damage again <laughs> to any uh, units they fly over. Um, but the Clash Hounds finally come on as well, so they're just all lined up here, ready to for next turn to do some charging or something. And... Um, my Herald's flying over here too to try and hopefully get a Searing Doom off. It's one of the issues that I've found with the, the level 2s, just, um, you know, all the armies are starting to get level 4s and it's really hard to just get enough dice. Even though I've got 5 channels, I think I channeled about, out of 2 games, I think I channeled like 3 times, which is a bit frustrating. Um, 
but still, you know, you're going against level fours, you really notice that you've got to throw more dice at things, which doesn't allow you have too much. But anyway, I, the Blood Crushers finally move up and get out of charge of these um, great swords. Cannon moves back again, get out, gets out of charge range. Uh, his target's going to be that Hurricane him as much as he can. And yeah, now I'm just, I need to get rid of that in the night still. And um, But yeah, it's getting into my turn three now. Uh, oh, actually, and my magic, I want to aim at that bunker. I mean, I just want to, let's try to get rid of his level four. Uh, so that's what I do. I throw Infernal Gateway, all my dice, and I get it off irresistibly and blow the bunker up, down to two guys. Um, gave him six up regen in the process, as you do. Um, so I shoot the skull cannon at it, and at first he wards the, he regens the uh, hit, like rolled the six, and we just went, oh, you're kidding, and then I was like, oh, hang on, it's flaming, sorry, you don't get that. Um, so I rolled a number of wounds, and I rolled a one. <laughs> so, so that would have been a massive turning point if he lost his level four there, uh, but he didn't. And now he can just pop back into that other bunker, and I've lost my chance to really do any damage to him. Um, yeah, the Furies are gone. Actually, so these weren't Infernal Gateway guys, were they? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, they must have been. Uh, he gets a charge off on these, you know. I can't really do much about it. Uh, it looks like Floss a Screamer, but we're still hanging around here in the combat. And he moves up to chaff up these Blood Crushers and stuff, so... I sat there, saw what he did, and I sort of I looked at it and went, you know, I could still get some overruns here if I do the right timing and stuff. So I wasn't too unhappy with that. Wasn't so happy with this though. <laughs> he gets a ten dice phase, and um, yeah, you know, he was throwing shems and banishment at those dogs. I sort of needed them. I wanted them back of the knights. Um, I can't remember which one I stopped. I stopped shems or the other one. Um, but it also leaves enough to get... He had a couple of dice left and he managed to get both Light of Battle and uh, Fars off. And in hindsight, I mean, not, Light of Battle was the winner here. I mean, if I just stopped those spells, um, you know, I didn't really care about the other damage he did. But now those knights are... Well, they're unbreakable, effectively. And I lost three dogs in the process. Or hounds, whatever they are. Uh, I'll lose a pack of pinkies as expected and then my bottom of four so I go in with the charges uh, like so so the screamers and flash hounds go in the rear of the knights there's not many of them now though so I don't think I'm going to do much damage unless he can roll a one which he hasn't done yet um, the herald goes in those archers he can get an overrun and second turn at combat um, and the Blood Crushers can do the same. If they get an 8-inch overrun, they'll hit the front of those uh, knights. Uh, so all's not lost. Um, yeah, look, I'm losing my Screamers here. Oh, yes, the Skull Cannon delivers and takes out the Hurricanum. So I only had two wounds or three wounds left, so that was pretty good. So that's gone. Uh, but, yeah, the Screamers can't hold up and they die. And I nearly got what I wanted, but not that I thought... It was, um, if you didn't have Light of Battle up, I thought this would definitely, you know, definitely take these guys out. But with Light of Battle up, um, he just didn't fail any uh, saves. And then my Blood Crushers only got rolled like four for their overrun, so they don't get into combat. <laughs> Even if they did and these guys in Light of Battle, I don't think they would have done enough damage. Um just with the minus two to armor save, it's just not enough to do enough, probably. So, anyway. That's where they're at. And, yeah, he makes some long charges here under my Herald and my other, other unit of uh, pink auras. Actually, this is the gateway unit. Um, I don't know. He charged the other one last time. I'm not exactly... can't remember why. Oh, it's because I had the banner discipline. It was worth more points, I think. Uh, this guy gets, I don't know, some damage from shooting or something. And, of course, yeah, these great swords take out the second unit horrors and reform. Uh, 
Uh, but the Knights fail their fear check and um, just put a wound on the Herald and they uh, and he sticks around. So the, <laughs> at least he's holding him up for one more turn. And these Reeks guard managed to pop. <laughs> oh my guys. It's just a shame. They all pop, all three of them. Uh, it is my turn though, so I send these blood crushers rather than try to take on the knights. I went straight into the bunker here with his BSB. Let's just rip them to pieces and the few uh, the horrors coming to the side as well. And the skull cannon lines up for a flank shot on those Reeks guard. It takes two of them out. Lost my herald. What are you gonna do? And we deliver. We just smash the. Uh, the uh, guys up and I think we only put a wound on the BSB but they end up breaking and so he dies and um, we catch him and the pinkies overrun into that small unit <coughs> sorry excuse me that other unit of archers up ends up I think they end up running off the board too at some point can't really remember but he's turned six um, he's got a long charge like a double six or something on those blood crushes with those knights at the bottom um, and so he does it, and he gets it, um, and in they come. Uh, but luckily for me, just trying to remember what happens here. Okay, right, it looks like yeah. yeah, we've taken out the archers, but they've taken out us, have they? Oh, I can't remember because like. Yeah, we've taken the archers out the top of the left. Uh, my, I think two of my blood letters end up heroing killing blow. Two of his knights, not heroing, just killing blow. Um, so we put two on them, and the rest of them... Uh, I think we just all attack the three that are left on the left, maybe? And uh, we end up killing them, and we break one of them and run them down. So that's good. Um so yeah, these blood crushes actually outperformed what I thought they would. Um, so it's my turn six, but there's nothing left to really do. I think those knights, yeah, so when we broke the small unit of archers at the top, the other ones ran off. So the only thing he's got left is his um, big horde there, and there's nothing I can really do to, to take it out. I didn't want to risk, you know, just to shoot the skull cannon to see if he you know, fails a lookout, sir, or something. I didn't want to do that to risk blowing my skull cannon up. And then when we added up... Uh, yeah, it was very minor. It was a 130-point difference, I think, in uh, victory points. So it was an Empire victory, but pretty low. It was a fun game, back and forth a bit, and some big, big moments where, you know, I failed to kill his Empire wizard. That would have swung it. And, geez, letting Shems and Banishment off when maybe Light of Battle would have been the, the high-priority one to, to dispel because I would have killed things a lot quicker and then had stuff left to do some more mop-up duties. Uh, or even not even that, I mean... <laughs> My plan was, my plan to, you know, leave his great swords alone worked. It's just that I lost too much in the process. So, anyway, um, learning to play with these demons is a bit tricky, this MSU type stuff, and don't have a, any big hordes, um, but slowly getting there. Uh, next game's just against some wood elves, and I'll try to get it out in the next couple of days. Cheers, guys.